UFC 254 is headlined with two of the best lightweights set to throw down for the crown. For Khabib Nurmagomedov, it could be a victory that puts him in the conversation of the best mixed martial artists to ever compete. But the opponent sharing the cage with him will be no easy task. The former WSOF champion Justin Gaethje is on a warpath, and seems like he has the toolkit to solve the problems no lightweight has been able to. This is a Lingo Sports UFC 254 breakdown. Before I get started guys, I just want to give you a chance to let us know who you think takes home the lightweight strap in the comments below. A glance at the tail of the tape shows very little to separate the two, but today we're going to go a little bit more in depth. Khabib has shown very little vulnerable moments in his career, and it's hard to pinpoint anything as a true weakness of his. For now, we'll focus on his strengths and what we will likely see versus Gaethje. The closest analogs and style are McGregor and RDA. Both like to pressure like Gaethje, and no doubt Khabib wanted their fight standing. To solve this problem versus RDA, Khabib was not afraid to engage, willing to take shots to get the fight to the fence. Using incredibly aggressive pressure, Khabib then did what he always does, outwork and outthink his opponent on their way to the mat. I'll spare you a breakdown of just how good he is on top and why you don't want to be there and Gaethje will probably think the same thing. The McGregor fight was a bit different for Khabib as he found himself straddling the fence line. It's important to note though that since his injuries, Khabib very rarely gets takedowns in open space, or at least not cleanly. He needed the fence to establish control in this situation here versus McGregor. Much of the same can be said of his fight with RDA. The difference is Khabib set things up with his striking versus the Brazilian. The champion's stand-up hasn't been seen for long periods of a fight. Preferably, he wants to use his cage cutting to narrow down a route of escape and then close the distance with level changes to disguise his strikes and clinch entries all at once. The most we have ever seen it was when Ally Quinta gave the Dagestani nothing on the mat. So for the final rounds of their fight, Khabib picked apart the New Yorker, using his guard, footwork, and jab to easily decision raging out. This is where we switch things over to Gaethje. During his WSOF title reign and his early fights in the UFC, Gaethje was a blood and guts warrior. His wrestling pedigree, strength, and pace was able to keep fights on the feet for brawls. But with the tutelage of one of the best coaches in MMA history in Trevor Whitman, the wild man has been tamed. Gone are his cartwheel kicks and leather slinging punches with no care for his safety in mind. Gaethje is now a trained killer. Laser-focused aggression is the name of his new game. Whitman has taken some volume and power out of the strategy in place of feints that corral opponents into more accurate fight-ending shots. Leg kicks remain a staple of the highlights attack However, in this fight, he would be better suited to do that with frames and clinching. Unlike just about any of the previous victims of Nurmagomedov, Gaethje is not willing to accept a grappling match at all and has the defense to keep things standing. However, we have seen him stalled and controlled with his back to the fence. Gaethje's ability to stand his ground and not get back to the defense will be key. His takedown defense in open space should be good enough to keep the fight where it needs to be. And if he can pressure the champ like McGregor did, he may have what it takes to do some damage with long combos. Well, that's all for me, everybody. If you guys have any ideas as to who wins this fight and why, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Lingo Sports for more. 
If you want a little bit more of myself or Lingo Sports, you can go ahead and follow us at these ats on Twitter and Instagram with the links in the description below. Take care.